A thoroughly British setting in the political heart of Europe. This Brussels pub, a favourite with Britons here, a touch of home abroad. So it's little surprise that conversation is dominated by Theresa May's new job as Prime Minister and her vow to steer the UK out of the EU. I think the people in Brussels will be happy to have some leadership, at least, with, from the UK. Um, I get the impression that Theresa May is generally respected here. Um, I, I think it'll be interesting to see what she actually comes out with with regards to the whole Brexit negotiations. I'm glad she's taken the job. She's strong enough, she's brave enough. Um, and I, I hope she does well. I'm, I'm glad she's, she's taken the mantle. For European diplomats frustrated at the idea of a long wait for David Cameron's successor, May's sudden appointment brings welcome clarity. Her reputation as a competent and experienced politician means many in Brussels say she's someone they can do business with. I'm not giving public advices to the incoming British uh, Prime Minister. I don't want to lecture her, I don't want uh, to talk about her before having talked with her. And uh, I'm envisaging, envisaging this uh, uh, relation as uh, having the potential to become a good relation. If Theresa May does forge ahead with taking Britain out of the European Union, she'll want to negotiate the best possible deal she can. She'll have to build relationships with key European personalities, such as the German Chancellor and French President, leaders which up to now, in her role as Home Secretary, she's had little to do with. Any negotiations over Brexit are likely to be dominated by what sort of access the UK wants to Europe's single market. If we accept that the renegotiation or the negotiation that is going to follow Brexit is going to focus a lot on Britain's access to the single market, um, free movement will play a big role in it. And unless she comes here with a constructive proposition, uh, she will find it difficult to get her message across. For now, the British flag continues to fly in Europe's capital. It'll be Britain's new Prime Minister who'll decide for how much longer. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Brussels.